questions. So let's go to the analysis. So the prediction, what I'm making, the prediction of the marking, what I'm giving you with approximate ranking, it is just a prediction. According to what I felt about the 2023-24 paper and the marks and ranking. So don't just take it that what I'm telling is 100% sure. I'm just trying to give a rough idea. It may vary in the actual results, but there is some... So you guys can get some clarity about where do you stand. That's the reason I'm doing it. Otherwise, I'm not NB. I cannot predict the marks. But yeah, what I've seen is that uh, 24 was actually tougher than 23 and 25 paper is slightly easier than 2024 paper. So what I felt was that even the 2024 was much tougher as per the student opinion and as per the recall because of some questions. But overall marks had increased. And that I felt was due to better preparation and not because of other reasons. And we had a gain in the cutoff in 2023-24 transition. And uh, yeah, I don't think it was tougher because I've gone through the recall because I've taken last year as well. And what I felt was that the question stem and whatever does not matter. Overall, these concept, what they are asking was pretty straightforward with many, many, many straightforward questions, even if it was scenario based. So what I felt is that in this, what shift I will see is that there would be some shift in the marking, even if there was confusion between the two questions, like two options in a particular question. But what I feel is that in this year, if you have made even smallest, silliest mistakes, you will have a huge rank loss. That is what I feel. But what my prediction is that there would be a plus six to plus 10. It may either remain same as 2024, or if the overall cohort is slightly better prepared in terms of the uh, reading, you can expect a shift upwards in plus six to plus 10 marks. That is what I felt that easier paper does not make easier selection. That is what I have kept here. That is what you guys are telling that options were very close. So yes, if the students who would have been able to differentiate and uh, eliminate and reach to the correct answer, you can expect some rise in the marking of that with the particular number of correct as compared to the last year. So this is what I feel is the overall picture. What I feel if the merit goes as last year, then the top 100 would be in the range of 450. Top 500 would be in the range of 430. Okay. And if at all you have some cutoff increase than last year, like what I feel if it's easier and the overall performance has improved, then you can expect a raise with the top 100 being in the range of 460 and the top 500 being in the range of 435. So in the top 10, I think roughly it will remain same. That is in the range of 490 to 4505. Uh, this is my prediction. So what I feel is that again, uh, 2024 was tougher. 2025 is slightly easier than 2024. But yes, why I felt is easier is because of the questions, the options and the topics. They are very important and they have taken from uh, them and they have framed very simple straightforward questions, the ones which are easy and the tougher ones are not so tough like last year what we had it was entirely from the specialty textbooks here this year it is less last year neuro questions were very 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 tough this year the neuro questions were pretty straightforward only the cardio cardiac questions were slightly tougher in terms of not directly from textbook otherwise all whole paper was from the textbook so that's why i feel that that there would be a mark shift upward with some rank comparison that is what is rank comparison is in a range of one to two marks there will be huge rank uh, like more number of students would be there. So, so I feel that there would be a shift and this is what I feel would be the prediction about the ranking and the cutoff that the top 10 would be in the range of 490 to 500, 505, top 100 would be in the range of 450 to 460 and the top 500 would be in the range of 410 to 435. This is what I feel that, uh, this is just my prediction. Okay. This is not entirely a true thing, but this is what I've found from the analysis of all three years combined. So 
and the thousand rank would be as i have shown you that approximately 380 to 400 410 marks would be the approximate uh, ranking and 1500 would be in the range of 360 to 385 as i have shown here okay so any of you have any queries what you like to ask me regarding this or if you want to discuss anything please let me know so that i can help you out with this phase that would be a angioplasty with or without stenting would be the answer for that. So I cannot tell you rank for a particular mark. This is a prediction what I have made that if you are in the range of 340, then it would be behind 2000s. This is my rough prediction, okay? The eligibility percentile that is only that only NB can predict because you need the whole cohort for the analysis. So I don't think I can answer that. Results as per the NB prospectus. See, it's distribution, see, it affects every year overlap between neat SS and INSS. I don't think you should worry about that. There is, it is not going to change. Every other year, there is some overlap between the counseling of INSS and neat SS. So don't, I don't think that you should be afraid or be worried about that. Just focus on your rank and your expected seat. Uh, for the next session, see, uh, I don't know you are preparing for that or you have given and you don't think that you will be able to make the cutoff. Just take some time off and don't worry. It does not mean that you have given one or two attempts and you could not crack it. It takes time for many, but eventually what matters is if you can crack once and you get a seat. So for anybody who is after today planning for next year, just focus. I have made a group. I'm sharing tips there also. You should start with Bailey, Saviston, Schwartz. All three textbooks needs to be covered now. That is for That is for sure. As for what I've seen, in this uh, recall that last two years, they have started asking questions from all three books, specifically Sapiston and Schwartz. Uh, diffuse thickening of coronary arteries answer is calcineurin inhibitors. There is no difference in DRNB or MCS, to be honest. When you do your degree and you enter into private practice, it does not matter if you have done a DRNB or you have done an MCH. Eventually, what matters is that you have a degree so that you can be called a super specialist consultant. And down the line, once you've started working, your skills and your uh, patient results will matter, not what you have done exactly. Yeah, this year, more shorts than Bailey and Sabiston. That's for true. And that's why since last three years, since 2025, I've been emphasizing on shorts to be incorporated in the reading because I felt that there is a shift of the questions asking from shorts. Yeah, once the result comes out, I'll be taking different sessions for the counseling as well. So I think we can discuss that later on. For any speciality, you can just go through the counseling of last year. That will help you on that. I do not have the data right now. Uh, the new Sabiston does not have huge updates. There is only 15 to 20% new updates. 80% of the book is same because I've already covered that in our material and notes as well. The cutoff will increase, I feel, because the paper is easier and uh, it can be same as last year, but I personally feel that it will increase. I think about the colleges and that information, we can conduct a session later on once the results are out. For now, anybody wanting to have any query regarding the recall, the analysis that I've made, you can let me know. Otherwise, I think we are done for the, yeah, the session based, section based has some constraint of time, but as for what I saw in the paper, it was slightly easier. So yeah, I'll give the, I'll upload the recall PDF of the paper in the app in, uh, in a week's time. So for uh, any other query after this, uh, what I feel is that, yeah, the bariatric surgery, most common cause of death is already covered. So this is the expected cutoff, what I feel. This is a very rough estimate, so don't take it for word by word, but this is a rough idea. For any other queries, you can just contact me uh, on my WhatsApp. I'll be happy to address them there. Safe number of questions in this paper would be in between 140 to 145. Yeah, I'll upload the recall in the app soon. Yeah, with the recall, I think you because you just you guys just recall the keywords, so I think it becomes easier. But what I have tried to what I'm trying to tell you is that the overall paper in terms of the topic and the way the questions and the options are, I felt it was slightly easier compared to last year, very honestly speaking. Yeah, it was mallet finger. Yes, that has been covered. Yes. So I think uh, let's wrap it up for now.
compared to 2023 it was of uh, around the slightly same level okay so 2023 and 25 why i'm telling and yeah this is also a point which i wanted to make that there was a toughness level increase in 2023 24 23 was easier 24 was tougher now you have slightly more easier paper so if you join 1 plus 1 equals to 2 you will tell that so the paper was comparable to 2023 but what you have to see is that even if the paper was easier than 2024 the preparation level in terms of students has been slightly increasing day by day in the last 2 3 years so what i feel is that you cannot compare that because the paper was easier than 2024 means that it was same as 2023 the level i felt was that it not does not matter just the level of question is also matters how the questions are asked and how the students are preparing so i feel that this should be the prediction for my in this year paper see with multiple attempts if you have given two or more attempts now you are not getting a desired seat you are not having financial constraints you can sit for one year and give it there is no harm in that even people at 39 40 are attempting cracking it getting a seat so it does not matter age or time if you have no financial constraints you want to do a ss super specialty seat then don't worry about the number of attempts uh for reading the textbook with our powerhouse notes with the ethos videos it is very simple read daily keep the notes hand by stand by go and go through the ethos videos come back to the notes then cursory reading of sabiston come back to the notes the short points will be already be covered and just go through the images of all three books that also will be incorporating in the app so that will give you a overview about how to prepare yeah shorts yes shorts is must since last two years that is what i felt yeah all of these questions have been covered yeah see there is no good rank there is a rank in which you get a seat that is a good rank yeah thank you for the kind words it has been a combined effort of my team and your students as well for the same so shorts i feel that uh, like many of you will not have time so my notes would be enough for covering shorts with the images i would suggest that read bailey read sabiston and read from our notes that is if you can read the textbook then it is well enough but it is slightly more stretching but if you don't have time then our notes will be sufficient to cover that with the uh, images no i don't think that in neat ss the focus will shift to questions are being asked from the super specialty textbooks i think the uh textbooks will be constant bailey's absent swords somewhat plus minus white and will be here and there but majority the major chunk will be from our textbooks i think expected next neat ss would be in september 2026 september october yeah we have covered all three books in our question bank so exactly pointed out that majority of the questions are somewhat there in our question bank and the swords bank and the surgical scholar and the mocks so roughly it covers our bank covers almost everything what has been asked any other uh, queries please let me know yeah dnb at uh, like counseling specific videos i think i'll make it uh, once the results are out so that we'll i'll get an idea about the seat matrix and everything and then i'll be able to make it uh, so i'll try to cover all the colleges for all the subjects yeah thank you for the kind words that has been taken it has taken too much like so much efforts in the decathlon series i personally taken attention to that so i have tried to give you as much practice as possible for a toughest of the exam so if it helped you then i uh, it just a boon to my hard work i don't think i need to make the decathlon more tougher i think the level is pretty much set standard as per last year and this year so just uh, to any students will be listening just practice the mocks you'll be ready for the exam so i think let's uh, wrap it up thank you all and just a special mention to all the students who have been helping me out with the recall so thank you all it has been just because of your efforts that i could complete the recall so let's uh, wrap it up and all the best for all of your results